my advice would be that don't let anybody push you around like follow through on your convictions you know yourself best and what you want to do and just bitch slap everybody else out the way really and stay true to what you want to do always listen to all different types of music and I just got my love back for music which I'd lost somewhere along the way I think and um, yeah I got a little bit jaded but you know I, I did do a lot when I was quite young and that can sometimes leave you quite jaded and yeah I just sort of got my mojo back and found so many incredible artists that I'd never really listened to before like Radiohead who I'm totally obsessed with um, and Sufjan Stevens and Brand New and so many, Seagull Ross, loads of different people. Um, I listen to quite a lot of 90s garage rock as well, which is lush. Uh, bit of Shudder to Think and Built to Spill and all of that. Um, yeah, and I just immersed myself in music again. And um, yeah, and so it, it all just sort of happened from then. After a while, I think in a relationship, you sort of start to merge a little bit. You know, you a, a lot of your um, uh, your actions, say, or your day-to-day -day speech, you just sort of, tiny bit, just start to merge. And so that's the sort of thing where, and with glitter, you can't get glitter off. You know, glitter just sticks around for ages. Um, so it's sort of about that and how um, awesome and destructive that could possibly be. definitely not glitter in my womb because that would have very funny connotations uh, it's yeah I've got glitter in my wounds I just started just putting weird things on my face and having fun with makeup because I want to put on a show I want it to be you know for it to sound incredible and for it to look incredible as well but it does scare people a little bit sometimes which is kind of fun uh, one video for how not to be surprised when you're a ghost um, which is full of kids like in ghost costumes and I'm sort of this, I look like a Victorian school teacher or something. I've actually made a, a video for the whole of EP2 um, where in my, for a lot of the time, my head is a floating planet floating through space. But we were just going to do glitter bombs, and then he listened to the EP. He was like, "Can I, can I make, can I make videos for them all?" I was like, "Yeah, okay." The last thing I released here was when I was 16, and it was all, all the classical stuff. But in the UK, I sort of did some pretty crappy pop albums and I did a TV show, like a comedy TV show, so I feel like it's a bit, my slate is a bit cleaner here um, because the music's so different and sort of alternative. People are much more willing to accept me as a musician and, and a credible artist, um, uh, which is what I so crave, you know? Um, whereas in the UK, it's a little bit more difficult also because of the whole tabloid thing that you know happened with me when I was growing up in the UK. Um, I feel like that's gonna be a more difficult a road. I mean, I'm still going to try and do it because that's my that's where I live, and I love the UK and I love Wales where I live. Um, so I'm still going to keep battering at it, but it's not an easy it's not an easy road. I'm doing it all totally independently. I'm releasing on my own label. Basically, we released them both together in the US because it made more sense because you know one was released a while ago in the UK. Um, so we released them together, sort of like a mini album. EP 1 and 2 uh, are the first two in the series of five EPs uh, that I've crazily decided to make. Um, and the reason I went for like an EP format over an album is because um, I feel like it, uh, it leaves us much freer to keep writing and keep going back, you know, go, going back to the studio and growing and getting better at everything, all of the elements. So it, it, gave us, it gives us an opportunity to evolve and keep getting better. Um, which is crazy exciting, you know, as a creative person, that's, that's, you know, what you 
what you hope for with the EPs if people can sort of find them and you know when you you have that feeling when you find a band and you feel a little bit of ownership you feel real pride over that that you know that you know them and you found them and, and I'd love I'd love for people to find my music that way and you know rather than this you know stick it in your face seven times and hopefully you'll buy it um, sort of mentality I'm, I'm not into that at all. Thank you.